week 18 of the fantasy baseball season and here's a few hoodies i look to sell with the trade deadline in most fantasy weeks this weekend or even august 10th tomorrow so here's a few hitters i look to sell the first guy cody bellinger of the chicago cubs so cody bellinger with a bounce back season it's been for the former mvp many years ago after the last couple seasons he was hitting under 220 and this year with the cubs 17 home runs 56 rbi 65 runs scored 17 stolen bases a 332 average and a 383 on base so cody bellinger over the last month of the season he's been on a tear and right now i don't think it's gonna hold up to the levels it's been obviously eight home runs, 27 RBIs, 22 runs scored, a 411 batting average, six stolen bases, and a 453 on base. So Cody Bellinger, he's been on a tear, no doubt about it, since July. And this Cub team, they got right back in the race because led by Cody Bellinger and a big win streak before the trade deadline. So anyway, right now, well, he's on fire, is Cody Bellinger. And we know what we've seen the last few seasons out of him where he's really struggled. I don't know if he's gonna keep it up at these levels even though we know he's on a one-year prove-it deal and obviously he's going to get a nice contract in the offseason august 3rd versus the reds one for four run a rib a storm base august 4th versus the braves two for three august 5th versus the braves two for three two runs an rbi a stolen base august 6th versus the braves two for three two runs an rbi a stolen base august 7th at the mets three for three two rbis and August 8th at the Mets, 1 for 4 with a homer. So right now, last five games, he's got 10 hits here, is Cody Bellinger. He's showing power. He's stealing bases a season. The batting average is up. Strikeout rate is way down. And he's definitely made the right adjustments, is Cody Bellinger. But I don't know if he's going to keep it up, especially getting on base almost 50% of the time over the last month. And I think there's just going to be a down period at one time. So right now, while he's one of the hottest hitters, you know, fantasy baseball. And I think you could get a good haul, a starting pitcher, and a hitter in a deal for Cody Bellinger. If that deal's out there, I would sell him. But right now, it's got to be a big package or a nice one-for-one -one deal for an ace starter or something along those lines. Next hit is Francisco Lindor of the New York Mets. So Francisco Lindor, on paper, the numbers are good, but it's just weird type of year it's been for Lindor. He's got off to a very slow start. Then in the month of July, he got back on track. And now he's been up and down ever since the trade deadline on the season. 22 home runs, 69 RBIs, 18 stolen bases, 71 runs scored, a 246 average, and a 333 on base. And like I said, the last couple weeks, he's getting it going once again. Three home runs, seven RBIs, three stolen bases, 13 runs scored, a 396 average, and a 482 on base. So Francisco Lindor, when it's all said and done, the numbers are there at the end of the season for him. But this year, obviously, with the Mets guarding pretty much the whole roster at the Major League trade deadline, and not a lot of protection in the lineup besides him and Pete Alonso for the most part, and Francisco Alvarez. I think the numbers, they're going to cool off once again as Lindor. So we know shortstop, one of the weakest positions, if not the weakest in fantasy baseball. And right now, while well, he's getting it going as Lindor over the last couple weeks here, he's a sell-high guy because there was times where he was in bad slumps for a month or two, and he gets most of these numbers, it seems like, in a few weeks span. And then he goes back to not doing much. Or you just don't get it consistently throughout the year because his slumps are long. And then when he gets on a hot streak, they can last for a couple weeks as well. So very inconsistent type of player he is, is Lindor. August 3rd at the Royals, 1 for 4, a home or 2 RBIs. August 4th at the O's, 2 for 3, 2 RBIs. August 5th at the O's, 2 for 4, run. August 6th at the Orioles, 1 for 3, a stolen base. August 7th versus the Cubs, 3 for 4, 3 runs scored. And August 8th versus the Cubs, 1 for 4 in that one. So right now, like I said, not a lot of help in that lineup with the New York Mets. Over there is Francisco Lindor. He's still putting up good stats, no doubt about it. But I just feel like a lot of teams are going to start pitching around them a little bit more and not give them a lot of good pitches to hit. Because like I said, there's not a lot of good plays in that New York Mets lineup. And I think right now he's been on too much of a hot streak because there's times where, like I said, you see him for weeks, not hit the baseball at all. And early in the season, that average was in the low 200s. So he bumped it up to 246. But I think we'll see him cool off a little bit. So I would sell him high this week. The next hitter is Hassan Kim of the San Diego Padres. So Kim, he was on the list last week. And once again, he's on it this week and he's having a great season, no doubt about it top 30 in fantasy baseball in the year 15 home runs 41 rbis 24 stolen bases 62 runs scored a 288 average and a 384 on base but over the last month of the season 
He's number three in fantasy baseball. Five home runs, 10 RBIs, 19 runs scored, eight stolen bases, a 389 average, and a 491 on base. So right now, Kimmy's at levels where you could get one of the top starters in all fantasy baseball, I believe, if you wanted to win a deal for him. With his versatility and what he could bring with power, stolen bases, and runs scored, I think you could get a great starter in a deal, or maybe a low-end starter and a bad in a deal. So the last few games here for Kim, August 2nd at the Rockies, two for three, three runs a homer, RBI. August 4th versus the Dodgers, two for four, two stolen bases. August 5th versus the Dodgers, one for four, run. August 6th versus the Dodgers, one for three. August 7th versus the Dodgers, two for five with a run. So right now he's playing great baseball. He's the catalyst in the lineup over there for the San Diego Padre team, trying to make one last push to make the playoffs here. And like I said, with his versatility and where he could bring your power, stolen bases, run scored, and a good batting average, I think you could get an ace type of starter in a deal or even a two-for-one deal. So right now, while well, he's on fire and the trade deadline's coming up tomorrow here in most leagues, he's definitely a hitter. I look to sell high. If I'm not going to get true value for him, obviously you hold him back and keep him on your team. The next hitter is Brandon Lowe of the Tampa Bay Rays. So Brandon Lowe, he got off to a good start the first month of the season. Then he fizzled out in May and June and most of July, but now he's really getting things going over the last few weeks here. So in the season, 15 home runs, 44 RBIs, five stolen bases, 38 runs scored, still only a 226 average on the season and the 320 on base with the last two weeks here for low five home runs, 11 RBIs, nine runs scored, a 351 average, and a 415 on base. So Lowe, we know, is a second baseman, one of the weakest positions in fantasy baseball. And also, you know how this Tampa Bay Ray team operates. A lot of platoons at their positions, even though I know Lowe, he's been playing most of the ball games now over the last few weeks because he's been on fire and this Tampa Bay Ray team does need the offense. Obviously, with their team struggling a little bit compared to what they were doing early in the season. August 1st at the Yankees for three in RBI. August 2nd at the Yankees, 0 for 4. August 4th at the Tigers, 1 for 4 runs. August 6th at the Tigers, 1 for 3, and that one a homer, 2 runs scored. And August 8th versus the Cardinals, 1 for 4 with an RBI. So right now, Brandon Lowe playing great baseball, showing power. The batting average is way up. But he's another guy where going by his track record and even his exit via woes, he's not hitting the ball super hard right now as Brandon Lowe. And I think his stats are going to fall off a little bit. And he's players, well, that could get back into a platoon if he cools off. So right now, while well, he's playing good baseball and getting playing time, he's a perfect sell-high hitter this week. And the fifth and final hitter, I look to sell in trades. Alec Bohm of the Philadelphia Phillies. Alec Bohm, solid season here this year for him once again. 12 home runs, 72 RBIs, 4 stolen bases, 52 runs scored, a 294 average, and a 347 on base. Alec Bohm, many years ago, one of their top draft picks and prospects in this Philly system. But the last couple of years he's starting to come around is Alec Bohm. But over the last two weeks here, one of the hottest hitters in baseball, three home runs, 11 RBIs, 11 runs scored a stolen base, 396 average and a 463 on base. So right now, Alec Bohm, I don't think those numbers are gonna keep up, obviously, the high batting average. The power this season, he'll probably finish the year 15 to the 18 home run range, which is fine with about 85, 90 RBIs, which is solid as well here for Alec Bohm, but I just don't think he's gonna keep it up on the tear he's been, because over the last couple weeks is where he's really gotten the numbers, because before that, he was in the middle of the pack player for the majority of the season. August 2nd at the Marlins, four for six, a run three RBIs. August 3rd at the Marlins, over four. August 4th versus the Royals, two for five, a run. August 5th versus the Royals, two for three, a homer, two RBIs, three runs scored. August 6th versus the Royals, one for four, a run. And August 8th, versus the Nats in that one, one for four with a home run. So right now, while well, he's playing good baseball and has good versatility in fantasy baseball, qualifying at first and third, I think Alec Bohm is a sell-high candidate. No doubt, he's still a solid ball player. I just don't think we're gonna see this for the rest of the season here. We're four weeks left before most playoffs and obviously in the playoff run as well. So that's a few hitters I look to sell and trade here in already week 18, right before the deadline of the fantasy baseball season.